So you're throwing a front double bicep, it's looking pretty good, but then you go to relax your arms down at the side and where did they go? That's right, arms looking skinny from the front view. Don't worry, you're not alone. I was there, arguably still am there, but seriously, my arms are so much wider from the front facing view than they were before. And with that being said, I wanna share with you guys some of the things I've been doing differently to get that girth from the front, but you gotta focus. So the first thing I thought probably like a lot of us think when it comes to making the arms look bigger is, you know, more bicep curls, more bicep curls, more bicep curls, preacher curls, heavy curls, light curls, a lot of reps, low reps. <laughs> Now, over the years, this actually did work. I noticed my biceps were looking really big, but really only from that front double bicep view, like the peak looked bigger. When I put them down to the side, they didn't look any wider. So then I dove in deeper and I did some online research back in the golden form day era. And I found some posts saying, you know, you should do more hammer curls and reverse curls to grow that arm width from the front facing view. Because there's another muscle in the arm also responsible for elbow flexion, just like the bicep called the brachialis. And if you make that bigger with these hammer curls, reverse curls, etc., then growing this brachialis will help create that arm girth. And guess what? When I started adding in more hammer curls, reverse curls, etc., it actually seemed like it worked a little bit. So if you're not already trying hammer curls, reverse curls, or heck, at least just pull-ups or bent over rows or something where the wrists are pronated like this when you're doing elbow flexion, give that a try. It might help girthen up the arm. It definitely did for me. But this was nothing compared to the next thing I discovered when it came to getting that wide arm from the front. To get that wider arm girth from the front facing view, rather than just focusing on biceps, focus on the triceps. Check this out, if I put my arm up like this and I flex it a little bit, we can kind of see the bicep, but what's really sticking out and giving it that wide look is the tricep in the back. And that's because you guys probably heard this before, the tricep makes up more of the arm than the bicep. It's a bigger muscle naturally. So around this time I was very into body weight training and I started doing more push-ups, and I noticed that was actually working for making my arms look wider from the front because push-ups target a lot of the triceps. I was doing a lot of variations. I was doing normal push-ups, narrow push-ups, any other clap push-ups, this push-up, that push-up. But here and there, maybe like once a week or so, I was throwing in some accessories. It's like skull crushers, superset it with curls, tricep push down with just like a straight bar. My triceps were definitely being targeted through a variety of exercises I was doing and I noticed that my arms are actually starting to look wider from the front even more so than just doing those reverse curls, hammer curls, etc. And I was like, dang, you're an idiot for not realizing this sooner. But then just recently when I was just kind of messing around with some high volume training, I don't want to say discovered because I didn't make it up, but I kind of realized there's a certain technique that you can do at the end of a set or an end of a workout that I really swear by when it comes to adding even more girth to the arm from the front facing view than any of the exercises I've mentioned so far. And it's a very simple exercise. It's an old exercise, but it's done a specific way to target a specific zone of the tricep. The exercise is just simple rope pull downs, but when we come to the bottom, we span out to the side and we twist the arm slightly to target the tricep, but specifically, we want to put a little bit more tension on the outside of the tricep or the short head of the tricep, because if you see the tricep actually has a long head down here and a short head up here. But if I have my arm down to the side and I flex it, I can see that the short head is actually the part that really pokes out when it comes to that front facing girth view. Bro, you finally got some girth on those noodles. Now I messed around with a lot of different weights, you know, kind of going heavy, going light, etc., etc. And what I found works actually the best for me is just doing a drop set with this exercise. So starting at a weight where I can do around 15 nice and controlled reps and then right around 10 to 15 reps when it's you're starting to lose the form, stop, drop the weight at least 10 pounds, try to crank out another at least 10 reps and then drop the weight 10 more pounds, try to crank out 10 reps, and you'll notice you're gonna get down to like a very lightweight, but it's gonna be burning. And that pump is gonna look insane and it's gonna make your arms look huge from the front view. Now that pump obviously is gonna go away when the blood gets out of the area, but the stimulation will still be there. And then obviously get that good nutrition in, get that good rest in, Speaking of nutrition, good nutrition is arguably just as important, if not more important, than training when it comes to building high quality, healthy 
muscle. And if you're going to use a protein powder, in my opinion, it's a good idea to get a high quality one. My gosh, this is sounding so much like a commercial. That's cause it kind of is. But seriously, you guys have seen over the past couple of years, I've been using Snap Supplements Vegan Protein Powder when I wanna make a vegan protein shake. In my opinion, it's one of the best tasting vegan proteins out there. It mixes extremely well. And just a personal preference, I really appreciate they don't use any soy in this. So one scoop has 21 grams of protein, which is plenty for a nice little pump. <laughs> Manufactured in the USA in an FDA registered facility. If you guys are interested in Snap Supplements, this vegan protein powder or any other Snap Supplements, use my affiliate link in the description. It'll get you 20% off your entire order. Other than that, let's get back to making those arms wide. Anyways, there's actually another bonus thing I wanna share with you guys regarding arm girth from the front, and it's a little strange. And that is when I was really into breaking, break dancing, doing specifically air flares, flares, power moves on the ground, gymnastics-like moves that required me to always use my arms, push on the ground, et cetera, et cetera. I noticed my arms were actually very strong, but during that phase, it was very hard for me to actually grow size to my arms, even with these additional exercises. And I noticed when I kind of like soft retired from that and did it a lot less, it seemed like my arms actually got bigger and wider from the front. And I think that's probably because when I was really training hardcore for these types of movements, I was really training hard. You know what I mean? I was going at it, at it, at it, at it. That could be something to take away from this. If you're just doing so many things with the arms, like all the time, like all this crazy stuff, and you're like, why aren't my arms growing? It might be wise to maybe consider doing less and just focusing on the movements that are going to grow the arm and then allowing them to rest, recover, etc. But that's if you want to, that's if you care. It's like right now I like I care, but then I'm like, I kind of want to do some of this stuff again. It's like, oh my gosh, you're gonna lose size and then I'm gonna cut too. Oh, that's another thing, bro. When I lose weight, it seems to first like come right off the arms. So not looking good for me going into the summer right now. But yeah, you know what? Just take day by day. I'm gonna try to maintain the muscle hopefully I built. Maybe it was just all fat over the winter, but um, hey, hey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and helps you out. Don't forget to subscribe, turn those notifications on, stay tuned, more videos coming out. Hope you all have a great day. Peace, I will see you all in the next video.